hello how to solve t to the power of t to the power of 3 and this equals 36 we are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation now we have power 3 here and because of this fact we are going to raise each part of this equation to the power of 3 so we have t to the power of t to the power of 3 and this is raised to the power of 3 and this equals 36 to the power of 3. Now, the next step we are going to take will be to apply this identity. a to the power of n raised to the power of n equals a to the power of n raised to the power of n. We apply this identity right here. And in this case, this t power 3 will represent our n while the three will represent our n. So that means we are going to apply this other part of the identity to transform it because this one is what we have just applied here in which t power three is our n and three is our n. So let's make use of this. That means the m will then come inside the bracket and the n will go outside the bracket. So, this equation becomes, remember the t is 3 is still constant. This equation becomes t, the one that is constant, and the m is now the, in the inside the bracket, so we bring it, which is the 3. And the n is now outside the bracket, we bring it, which is t power 3. So basically, we are treating this t power 3 as a single term, and that's why we have gotten that right there. So this equals 36 to the power of 3. So, right now, what we can do is, if you observe, this and this, the exponent and the basis are the same. So, for us to solve for that, we need to ensure that this base here is the same as the exponent right here. Until we get that right, we will not be able to proceed with this solving. Because right now, the base here is the same as the exponent here. So what we can do now is to ensure that we manipulate this to with the same as the exponent. So from here we can have our t power 3 raised to the power of t power 3 equals 36 here is a perfect square. So we have 36 equals 6 times 6. And this is the same thing as writing 6 power 2. So we have 6 to the power of 2 that's 36 raised to the power of 3. So right now I consider this other identity. If I have a to the power of n raised to the power of n is equals a power n times n. So I need to multiply this exponent out. So I'm going to have t to the power of 3 raised to the power of t to the power of 3 equals 6 to the power of 2 times 3, that is 6. Now, what we can do if you observe the base here and the exponent are the same, and the base here and the exponent are the same. So this can be likened to if you have a power a, this equals b power b. This means that a equals b. So we simply have t power 3 equals 6 by easily comparing these exponents. So if that is the case, that means we can easily solve for t by eliminating this 3. I can have t to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 equals 6 raised to the power of 1 over 3. So right now, I can multiply this exponent out. I have t to the power of 3 times 1 
This is 3 divided by 3 equals 63 power 4 over 3. Now, right from here, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so I have t equals 63 power 1 over 3. So this is our answer. We can also transform this to, if you consider this identity, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1, which is the same thing as having the n root of a, because a power 1 is a. So, if you apply that identity right here, you have t equals, this will be the cube root of 6 power 1, which is the same thing as the cube root of 6. So, this becomes our answer. Now, the next thing we can do will be to check for this value of t. So, I have check. I have t equals 6 power 1 over 3 or the cube root of 6. I need to check for this. So I can recopy the problem, which is t power t power 3 equals 36. I'm going to replace t with this 6 power 1 over 3. I will have 6 power. 1 over 3 for t raised to the power of 6 power 1 over 3 for t again and this is raised to the power of 3 equals 36 so right now I can easily multiply this exponent using the identity of a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I can easily multiply the identity and what I can have or what I will have will be 6 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 6 and 3 times 1 over 3 is 3 over 3 which is 1. So this equals 36 because 3 times 1 over 3 is 3 over 3, which is 1. It will cancel out. So you are left with just 6 here. So right now, what we do again is to apply this same identity right here. We have 6 power 6 times 1. This is 6 over 3. And this equals 36. So right now, what we do, we have 6 over 3, which is 2. We have 6 power 2 equals 36. And 6 power 2 is simply 6 times 6, which equals 36. And 6 times 6 is 36, which equals 36 left hand side equals right hand side. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.